So hi traders, so very good evening. Uh, the purpose of making this video to discuss two topics today. First topic I am going to discuss about this uh, post market analysis of Nifty and Bank Nifty. So yesterday trade plan versus today achievement details I am going to discuss in this video. And second topic I am going to discuss about this trade plan for this tomorrow. So this trade plan based on the uh, CPR and pivot plans and institutional player liquidity locations. And this trade plan is going to work more than 80% of the times. And for more details, you can check my Telegram channel. In description, I'm going to share this Telegram channel link. So now let's go for this uh, post-market analysis of Nifty and Bank Nifty. So this is a Nifty chart. And before going to this post-market analysis, and yesterday I'm uh, already uh, given this trade plan. So let's check with this yesterday trade plan video. So I'm clearly saying that if any chances price closes below this S1 levels, this is a previous day low and S1 levels. So this is a previous day low and S1 levels. Then we can travel up to this either S2 levels or gap order levels. So where is the gap order? I just want to show you this gap orders. Yeah. So this is a gap order. This gap order on. So this is a gap order on. Uh, 21st July and if you see this uh, price action if you understand the price action see this after rejection so prices came for this near to these levels and after that one more given this opportunity the same levels and given for this gap order levels now this gap order we just keep little lower side now this is a gap order okay so that's how this trade plan is going to work. And two times is given for this very good opportunities. So almost is a 60, 60, 120 points at the moment. And let's check with this bank nifty. Bank nifty also. Uh, see, after S1 breakout. So see this. This is a breakout. And uh, you can give the stop loss this level. So once get the 2 hour, you can exit the trade. And this is a one opportunity. After the price is bouncing from this level. After some consolidation. And if you see this, this is a. Breakout, but your stop loss is very big a stop loss. So then you can enter around these levels and you can keep the stop loss these levels and you can exit around these levels. So that's how we need to do this uh, take the uh, trade plan and uh, based on the price action, we can follow with the direction of the market. Now let's discuss about this uh, trade plan for this tomorrow. So first we need to check this uh, trade plan. Uh, this is a CPR levels and today's high and this is a today's low. Uh, this is a wedge in CPR. So this wedge in CPR on 22nd July and this may act as a strong support. Uh, let's check with these levels. Yeah. So once price came for this level, almost is a, a 3,000, 4,000 points of the fall is happening. So we can consider that this level act as a strong support for this tomorrow. And upside is nothing is there. And downside is a gap order. So this is a gap order and this is a wedge in CPR. So downside is a back-to-back -back gap orders and virgin CPR, it may act as a strong support. So already marked this is a trade zone. So this is a trade zone and this is a trade zone. This is a trade zone. So based on this, we can plan our trade. So first we need to check this CPR. CPR is starting from this uh, 36,445 to 36,515. So almost is a 70 pants of the range. So 70 pants of the CPR is a we can consider as a medium CPR. So in these cases, uh, already marked this trade zones and uh, let's, if any chances, price flat opening, S1 breakout. So better to wait for this price action and price come for this previous day, low level, then we can travel up to either this uh, wedge in CPR filling or S2 levels. So once again, I'm repeating traders, if any chances, this uh, S1 breakout, this is the S1 36 so better to wait for this price action once price come for this levels, previous day low levels, once uh, formation of this bearish angle candle. So then we, we can travel up to this either S2 level or this gap order levels. So always check with the risk reward. Once match the risk reward, then only you can take the trade decision. So this is a trade plan one for this uh, downside and coming to this upside. If any chances, price closes above the CPR levels. So better to wait for this price come for this uh, pivot point level in between. Uh, so if it is small stop loss cases, we can travel up to this previous day high levels. So this is a CPR breakout, then price come for the retracement, then we can travel up to this previous day high levels. Or if any chances, previous day high breakout, so definitely we are looking for this long opportunities and we can travel up to this R2 levels. 
So this is a R1 level. So R1 level is a 36, 627, and this is a previous day high. Today highs will become a previous day high. So once match the discrepancy, then you can go for this uh, R2 level. So if any this parabolic breakout candle like this, so better to wait for this retracement opportunity around this level with the confirmation candle, we can travel up to this further up. So I'm given this three trail plan for this tomorrow for this bank Nifty. So let's discuss about this Nifty. So coming to this Nifty, first we need to check the important liquidity locations. And this is a CPR range, and this is a today's high, and this is a today's low, and this is a gap order, very big gap order. And this is a S1 levels, and uh, this is a wedge in CPR, and one more gap order. So downside is a back-to-back -back gap orders, and uh, coming to the subside, so 16,793. So it may act as a strong rejection. So once price came for this level, so after that is very big fall is happening. So we can consider as a strong supply zone around this levels. And based on the situation, we can plan our trade. Uh, first, we need to check this. Uh, see, already more this important trade zone. This is a trade zone. This is a trade zone. And this is a trade zone. So first, we need to check this CPR range. CPR range starting from this 16505 to 16550. So 45 pounds of the CPR. So we can consider as a wide CPR. Uh, in these cases, first, we can check with this uh, long opportunities. If any flat opening and price closes above this CPR level, so better to wait for this price come for this pivot point level. So in between is the pivot point. So this is a CPR range. So in between is a pivot point level. So once price come for this pivot point level, so with the confirmation candle, uh, bullish angle candle, then only we can travel up to this uh, either R1 levels or previous day high levels. And remember traders, tomorrow is a wide CPR. So most of the times price trading in the range only. So once get the two or try to exit the trade. So don't looking for this big opportunities. So this is a trade plan one and uh, coming to this trade plan two, uh, if any chances price uh, gap up opening and price uh, this uh, closes above this previous day high level. So here is problem is that one moment. So here is we need to understand uh, this is a we need this type of candle cases because of this is a R1 levels. So R1 level is a 16,593. So R2 level near to this levels. So problem with this risk reward. So better to wait for this price action if this type of candle and price come for this uh, retracement opportunity around this previous day high levels, then only we are looking for this long opportunities with the confirmation candle and R2 levels. So uh, this previous day high to R2 levels is very near. So always check with the risk reward. Once match the risk reward, then only you can take the trade decisions. So coming to this downside, and uh, if any chances of uh, price flat opening and price uh, this S1 breakout, so then price come for the retracement around this uh, previous day low level. So with the bearish angle candle, so we can travel up to this as two levels. So these are the three trade plan opportunities for this tomorrow. So the objective of this trade plan is uh, going to help the retail and novice trader to become a successful and professional. And this trade plan is going to work for this option bias. The channel main objective is helping to retail and novice traders to become a successful and professional. And for more details, trade plan, so you can check my Telegram channel. So Telegram channel, each and every day, trade plan versus achievement, I am going to update it each and every day. So thank you very much, traders. And uh, this is Ashok Gumara signing off. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Kindly like it and kindly share it to your trading community. So good night to all.